Hi, I'm Claire Malloy, Irish blanker. Hi, I'm Shauna Brown, English prop. We're hoping we can inspire the future generation to get more women and girls playing rugby. So they can break down the barriers in front of them and promote the game. I think it'd be unbelievable, first of all. I think for the, 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 the women's game to experience what we're experiencing as in coming together collectively from the four different nations. I think it'd be such a class opportunity for all the women out there playing playing rugby and especially for the younger generations if they were growing up watching a women's team wherever uh, a line series would be would be put on that would be and it would be an extra reason for them to want to play the game the women's game's definitely growing which is incredible to see we had a good chat about it earlier actually down at dinner and, and it, it's like Realistically, it's the next logical step, isn't it? Like the w women's games catching up on al almost every other facet with the World Cups, the Six Nations. Now we've been running so successfully, so there's I don't see much reason why there shouldn't be a Lions tour. For me, it'd be like the expansion of of world rugby in general because uh, women's oppositions are not necessar necessarily going to be the same as men. So it'll just be accessible to more people and and just opens up rugby to more of the world. I've been around a long time and played in World Cups and Sevens World Cups, but the Lions story is, you know, it's a huge aspirational thing. That's the pinnacle to set yourself against as a women's player. That's what we're striving for. I think it'd be really exciting for the opposition too. One thing yeah. that kind of struck me from the last tour was the New Zealand players only get to play a Lions tour or whatever country it be every 12 years, or could it be even more depending on what other country you're in. So that obviously grows excitement in that, in that country and in other places around the world to, to have everyone striving towards, working towards a, a really good, good goal of, of, a, of, a, of a class Lions tour there. Would I rather win a World Cup with England or play for the British and Irish, Irish Lions as a woman and I'm not sure what the answer would be, actually. It's just like, it, it would mean that much. I'm 31 now, whether it will happen in my playing career, I, I'm sure. <laughs> the Lions story is, you know, it's a huge aspirational thing. As you said, Josh, you want to achieve success on an international stage. You know, you've played in a World Cup with a highly successful Welsh team and you've dominated and played well, but, you know, the Lions, that's the pinnacle to set yourself against. We're accepting of the fact that there isn't a, a women's Lions tour. But actually, when you speak to people outside of rugby and you explain that to them, they're like, well, why not? And actually, in my head, I'm like, yeah, like, why Why is there not a women's? This doesn't make any sense. So what's important now is that like people like Royal London looking into to making it happen. I've got a daughter, uh, daughter Lana, who's three. She loves watching me play rugby. She loves, we've got rugby balls around the house. She loves playing with them. So I would 100% be open to any sort of organization like the Lions. It'll be opening her prospects. It'll be opening more windows for her to have stuff to strive towards. So I would be more than happy for Lana to play whatever sport she's into and, and I will, whatever she wants to do, I'll support her all the way. And I think for her to have this to strive towards, like I had to strive towards when I was younger, I think would be fantastic. With the Women's Lions as well, I think the participation would grow. I think you'd see an increase in, 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 in young children at the grassroots level, um, and, and that will only be a positive thing. So yeah, just like Ian, I would support her in anything she wanted to do. And if, if this was a goal where she says, I want to do the same as you, Daddy, then that'd be achievable for her, and I'd support her in that. I know the Six Nations moved to April as their standalone tournament for the women's and like you said, the media coverage, having it on primetime TV as well is, is excellent. When I was home, having it on TV, I was able to just sit back and watch it and then when I was in the car, there was a lot of talk about it on the radio and stuff and you'd find yourself getting engrossed in that. Given the women's game its own standalone time to shine, I think it's perfect. It gives everyone a, a perfect opportunity not to be distracted to see what, what value the game actually has. The more it gets to that, the more scope there will be for growth, I think, and that will be perfect for grassroots rugby and perfect for, for everyone to get involved. What society says that a girl should be, it was the biggest barrier for me, and still is, as, as a woman growing up. And now it's like, why would you want to play rugby? Like, why, why would you want to do why would you want to be a gas engineer? Why would you want to be a firefighter? And it's still so surprising how how many women as well. It's not it's not men. It's not just men. It, it's just people 
want to put women in women and men. They want to put people in boxes. Coming into rugby, it's, it's the way I talk, and I'm not like I'm not middle class. I'm not from a classic, typical rugby background, a rugby family. And it's like you sound like you're from South London. You surely can't play rugby. I'm like, yeah, I can, and I'm pretty good at it. I suppose for me, the barriers I found was that I came to rugby late in uh, university. But there wasn't the opportunity to play, you know, there wasn't women's women's rugby or even women's football within my school. Challenging the kind of gender roles within the school society about the game has been difficult and that's ever improving and there's more visibility on that. And Shauna Brown's probably one of my best role models in the current game and, you know, I'm fantastically honoured to be an ambassador alongside her with Royal Lundy. It has to be visibility, it has to be exposure, it has to be our games being on primetime television, even if it's just on in the background, like our Six Nations was, was on BBC Two in the middle of the afternoon. And I don't come from a rugby background at all. So most of my friends and family circle don't know anything about rugby. And yet I got so many calls and texts after our games were on BBC Two saying, oh my gosh, I just watched rugby for the first time. And it was great. And then accessibility as well. Just investment in an underage structure and a pathway for players, you know, growing up watching, it's called rugby on TV, their brothers playing rugby and just being exposed to it and an opportunity for them to say, well, I want to play rugby and I want the opportunity, the investment in the structure to allow a girl at six to start playing touch rugby, you know, tag rugby, developing, getting to a teenager, playing games, having an underage competition so that they can be taken from day one to day here. Both your main points are were investment. I suppose it's good to see Royal London providing that for, for women rugby. There's going to be a lot of naysayers. There's going to be a lot of people who tell you don't do it. Like, that's not what girls do. You're going to get hurt, but you have to be strong in yourself. Believe in yourself. Um, I think that's one of the biggest things you have to do in any kind of sport. You have to believe that you can get to that level. Sometimes things won't go your way, but it's always important just to keep backing yourself, keep trusting that with hard work and determination at the end, you'll be able to achieve your goal. If you're just starting out and um, you're enjoying the sport, keep at it. Always enjoy yourself. Like a lot of the time you find you're actually doing what you love and you're doing it with the people you're mates with. Enjoy it.